Hi, it's Tracy from Glitter Thumbs, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to work with the Design Studio with Cricut. If you look up on the left, you can see I'm logged in. There is also a Create a New Project, or you can go up top and open up your own existing project that maybe you've saved. But we're going to create a new project. And you know what? I'm not too sure what I want to make right now. So I'm going to go ahead and insert an image, and maybe inspiration will go from there. You can see insert an image. You can see upload an image, add a text, or fix your canvas. Zoom in and zoom out. You can also see all sorts of fun stuff up here as well. And it's going to take some learning, but you know what? I'm going to set the canvas first. Let's see if I can figure out what I want to make. Usually it goes to blank canvas, but I can make anything up here. You can see shirts, you can see scrapbook layouts, and uh, window decals on clocks, on laptops, on shoes. I mean, it's just great because it gives you the right dimension so that you can make sure that your cut is going to be the right um, size for what you're putting it on. I'm going to go ahead and say blank canvas and go from there. And I know school's coming up, so I know I'm going to want to make something fun. I'm going to go ahead and insert an image. Now you have access to 25,000 plus different images here. And if you look up up here, you can do all images, all image sets, only my images or only my image sets. So you have a few ways of looking there. Keep it on all images while you're looking. I'm going to go ahead and put something fun. School. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to search for that. Now look how many things are coming up here. Now most of them have that blue box underneath them that says that they're subscribed. Now if they don't, that means there is a fee for those images, usually about 99 cents. But like I said, you've got a lot of them in there. Now when you scroll over the top of them, you do see that they enlarge. They also show on the bottom what image set or cartridge set they're from. So I'm going to look through here, see what I want to put in there. Oh, little girl. Oh, I'm going to put a little school girl in there. Okay. Oh, now I know where it's from. You know what? That same area. Oh, look, it's already down there. I know I clicked on it. It shows me what's uploading. So not only do I see that green marker on the top right side of it, I also see down below that it's adding those images. Now I'm going to click on insert images, but also if I decide that I want to change my mind and not put one up there, I can always unclick that green button and it takes it off. But I do want school days, so I'm going to click it back up and insert the image. Now there is a grid line on Cricut Design Space. So you can kind of have an idea of what you want to do. School days, I'm going to separate everything for you to see. And I can make them big. I can make them small. Look over on the right-hand side as well. As soon as I'm done here, I want a little bigger. That looks pretty good, pretty cute. On the right-hand side, you're going to see all of these are layered according to like the different items. School days is all highlighted. It's three layers. There's a yellow layer, a blue layer, and then there's a, a gray shadow as well. But if I want to change that, all I do is click on the yellow. It'll come up with a whole color scheme. And you can see I'm changing that around. So if I don't like the look of it, I get to change it. The same with the blue. Let's see. Orange is kind of fun kind of folly. My daughter's hair, I'm going to fix that right now. It's not black, it is red. So I'm going to go to the section that highlights her hair. There's two sections and I'm going to turn it orange and the same with the one down below. Now you can also customize these colors. You can see the grid down below underneath the automatic, the automatic colors. All right, so you could click go from there. Let's go ahead and play around a little bit. I can see all those different things. Now that layer, if I choose not to click on it, I can remove it. It will show me what it'll look like without that. So if I click that eye, it's going to tell me I could remove it and it will not cut. If that eye is crossed out, it will not cut. So just to forewarn you, um, it's a good thing and a bad thing. You know, you have to make sure you're really watching that. But I'm going to go and get rid of those uh, books. And you can see there, all I did was get rid of the black outline and the two white images that did the book and uh, I think the paper. And there's a couple other things. Look up on top. I can also change the size. So if I know for sure that I want something to be a certain size, very easily change the width. You can also rotate. And look at that. There's also a sync button. Now look at this. Look how many. 12 mats. 
that's too many mats for me to work with. So I'm going to try and consolidate some of these colors. If you look down below, I can see the school bus. I can change that to orange. You know what? It's going to look fine. You can see it on the left. It's fine. Now look at her socks. Oh, I'm going to change that too. Keep that pink down to red too. But look at her socks. I don't really want her socks to be gray anyway. So I'm going to change them to white. That's going to help me out quite a bit. And I uh, don't really see too many kids with gray shirts and gray socks anyway. So that's going to look really nice. All I'm doing is grabbing it and pulling it up. Look at that. Now that looks a lot better. So I think it's a little bit more manageable. I can handle putting eight down instead of what 12 or whatever it was before so now i'm ready i'm going to click go and the first thing it does is shows me a matte preview it shows me where everything is going to be cutting now i am looking oh look at that there's her little body well but you know what it's dark gray it's not black i'm going to go back and fix that right now go into the sync button i have to highlight something over there sync go down to her body I thought it was just black. It's not. So I'm going to move it up with the body of the bus. And now it's going to cut them all on the exact same. So that's going to be a really nice preview. Before you start cutting, you're going to know what it's going to look like. If something looks fishy, just fix it. What if I want to put this on a card? You know what? I changed my mind. I want a card. I'm going to put that up there. And not only that, I'm going to make it... Uh, let's see what color. I can change the color. I can change the size. Now let's see what that green looks like. I'm going to apply it. That's pretty. Okay, that's pretty fun actually. But look, that school days is now too big. I'm going to go ahead and scroll it down and do the same exact thing with the bus and the little girl. Now look, that bus is hiding her, but we're going to take care of that in a second. Let's scroll that down. Move the girl. Oh no, I can't see her. Okay, let's get her into position and then we will fix that right now. I've selected her. Look at that. I can move her up to the front, which is that little button right there. I can move her in front one layer, behind one layer. I can move her to the very back. No, I chose to move her to the very front because I want her to be seen, not really the bus so much. And that way I'll have the ability to see what things look like. Now I'm going to go. Let's look at the screen preview now. That number of mats should change. Let's take a look there. And yes, and look how she's all separated, all, all, or actually together, grouped together with that. The same with the bus. Look at the mirrors. School. And if I wanted to maybe save paper, I can always move my items around. And that's really nice because you're able to save paper. I tend to save all my scraps. So if I can get something in a little area, the grid lines are going to help me figure out how big of a paper I really need. I don't need a big 12 by 12 paper to do these. I need tiny little guys. So like that one right there, there's, I'm not going to move that because the eye is next to it. That one's what? Five by one and a half at the most. So uh, that's going to really help out with saving paper as well. All you do is click go. It says, please wait, and it'll tell you to load the paper. And look over there. I'm in the set button. I can change it around. So if I want this bus to be a certain type, I can move it around. First of all, there's the dial. That dial is going to go cardstock, light cardstock, vellum, and so on. But I can customize it. As soon as I change it to custom, then there's going to be a whole list of things for me to go in there and decide what I want to cut this image out of. So just for argument's sake, we're going to go ahead and say I want to cut just this black out of glitter. We like glitter. Glitter thumbs. Of course I'm going to like it. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to say next mat and pretend like I've cut this image out. All I have to do is make sure to turn that dial back to cardstock because we want to make sure that we get the pressure and speed settings all correct. So look, cardstock, and we're good to go.